<laughs> Yo, what up, though? What's the deal? I had to go live one day this week for y'all, man. I had to sneak it on in there. Got in on a Thursday, man. My boy Scott, what's the deal? What's the deal with you, Anki? How you feeling? My boy, my skull brother, Mike in the building. What's the deal, my guy? Who we getting for that quarterback, man, to get us to that Super Bowl? Is it going to be your boy? Is it going to be your boy, um, Drake May? Purple Papa, what's the deal? How you feel? What up with y'all, man? Mike, what you doing, boy? You busy? You busy, my guy? What quarterback you want, Purple Papa? What other quarterback you want besides Michael Penix? That was a minute ago, though. You probably changed your mind by now. But the Vikings getting the quarterback, though, man. But I don't know if they're going to be able to move up, man. Because what if the NFL team tell the Vikings, we want three first-round picks and an additional pick? Like, damn, y'all acting bad on the Vikings. Tony Bell, TB in the building. I don't ever think I ever seen Tony or what about live before. I'm about to lie to y'all. No, this is going to be a good night. Man, what quarter? Hey, man, but why are the Vikings picking up everything but defensive tackle? Man, that's what I'm saying. I don't know, man. Either they got a trade in mind on somebody that's on the – like a football player that's on somebody's roster, or they might not be trading up, man, because we ain't got no deep tackles on the roster, dog. Like, people ain't paying that no attention. Williams, if he drop or Daniel, but pin it is still. Oh, yeah. But Purple Papa, like, Williams and Daniels is the only quarterback I'm trading up to get if I'm giving up two or more first-round picks, man. Them are the only two quarterbacks I want. I'm lying. I'm not lying to you, man. When you trade up and giving up multiple picks, you want to get a game changer, like somebody like that. What up, though, Scolding? He said, most likely drafting D-Tackle this year, maybe two. Yeah, but you think the Vikings can get two starting D-Tackles in the fourth round? That's my only concern, especially if they move up in the first round. That's why I said, I don't know, man. I think they might stay at number 11, get a quarterback or a D-Tackle, and might get a quarterback at that 23rd pick for real. Because I think some of the quarterbacks are going to fall. I'm not lying to y'all, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, we know Washington getting a quarterback. So, after no two teams, man, it, it might be some quarterbacks that fall for real, man. Like, Drake May might fall. JJ might fall. Shit, while we playing, shit, Bo Nix might be the number third quarterback going. Because they not even talking about Bo Nix for real. He said, what up, Scolding Mike? Yeah. It's very possible you can find a good D tackle later, Rod. Yeah, man, I don't know about that, though, man. We drafted Roy in the down fourth round last year, and he barely played, man. The Vikings, as of lately, had not been doing good with late round draft picks, man. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you, man. So I will be kind of concerned. If we draft a D tackle in the fourth round, and he'd be the number one D tackle star in week one, man, I will be a little nervous, man. Like, what the fuck? Shit, no linebackers ain't gonna matter who we picked up if we ain't got no D tackles. <laughs> Shit, it won't even matter. The people gonna be running the ball so much, then they're gonna be doing so many play action passes, and them linebackers gonna be tired. <laughs> Shit. Some of that, yeah, hell yeah, some of that coaching. Shit, that's the problem. Coaching has their favorites. Yeah, but, man, I don't know, man. I think the Vikings might trade for a defensive tackle that's already on somebody's football team that's on his last year, man. Would you trade J.J. to get our song, Corvallis? I'm not lying to you, Purple Papa. I'm not trading J.J., man. For what? Like, we don't need to trade J.J. 
I could see if we had a quarterback that was coming up off his rookie contract and we had to decide, but we can keep JJ. And plus, like everybody want to trade JJ. Like we got Jordan Addison, we got JJ. We all seen what Joe Burrow did in Cincinnati when he had three good wide receivers and a nice running backs. They went to the damn Super Bowl. Like we haven't seen Joe Burrow play in the NFL without a top notch wide receiver core. It's about to be the first time since he's been in the NFL. And I think he's gonna lose T. Higgins before week one. I'm not lying to y'all, man. I don't want to trade JJ. Cause JJ and J and TJ is gonna make that quarterback look good, especially if he can throw the damn football. If we trade up for a quarterback, he's gonna look good. His, his first. I don't know about his first year, but his second year, he should look good in the Vikings offense, man. Because the Vikings got weapons. What more important is starting quarterback or starting? You got to have both. Like, what you mean? Like, hey, what team was that? Oh, yeah, just for instance. The Eagles, when they drafted Jalen Hurst, what did the Eagles do? They drafted Devontae Smith, but they know they needed more help. For their quarterback, they went and traded for A.J. Brown. You need wide receivers. That's why Justin Fields was so bad in Chicago. He ain't had no wide receivers. Skull Mafia, my boy in the building. Skull Mafia, my guy, man. He be showing me love on Twitter and everything, man. And Skull Mafia, I see you and D. Woods reposting my stuff. And I commented, but they won't let me comment on both of y'all uh, stuff on Twitter. I don't know how to work Twitter like that. I ain't going to lie to you. I did like the picture and left a comment, but I don't really mess with Twitter like that. You can find me on Instagram. My boy Nug in the building. My boy tapped in with me. Oh, yeah, Nug, look at this. Oh, it's on, y'all. It's on this year. When I tell y'all it's on, I mean that. Y'all see what that say? Y'all see that? That's the that NFL draft ticket. I will be going live at the NFL draft. Yeah. And I'm about to go buy me one of them GoPro. It's about to be, it's about to be looking crazy at the NFL draft. I might record all damn day when once I get downtown. I'm in the NFL draft. Going crazy. I'm going live at the draft. And I'm about to order me a little three microphone because somebody gonna give me an interview in that draft. Yeah, I'm learning too, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. You got yours too. We in there then. We linking up. About 3 30, 4 o'clock. I'm going downtown early and I'm not leaving. I'm not lying to you, man. For real. Yeah, man, but I don't know though, man. I'm not with trading JJ, man. I just want to make the make it easy, man, for the rookie quarterback. So you from Minnesota? No, nah, hell no, nah, Jerry. I'm from Detroit. You see that? The big three one three. I'm from Motown. Jerry remember, so I got to go. Yeah, hey Tony, that's for real. That's for real. Because if we if we botch this NFL draft, I'm going crazy. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. If I see a Bo Nix or a Drake May name go across that damn screen, I'm going crazy. But I might just be overreacting though. They could be good in the NFL. I'm talking about the spur of the moment. I'm going to be mad. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to y'all. Pop of this hype, man. This man. man, what? I'm at the NFL draft. I can't wait. Because, man, it's crazy, though. They got the Viking link to J.J. McCarthy like a mug. And they got a link to Drake May. I think that's the overplay for the underplay. I'm not lying to y'all, man. It always be like that. It's going to be a quarterback the Vikings not even talking about or they not even linked to. That's the way I'm looking at it. I'm not lying to y'all, man. I can see them staying at number 11. Yeah, I'm from Detroit, Jerry. Where you from, Jerry? You from Minnesota? You might see the Viking pick, mate. Man. Hey, that right there, Tony, would be crazy. Oh, man. Oh, my God. 
it, man, I don't want, I don't even want to talk about that. That'd be too crazy, man. We take May at, at what? I think the Bears gonna take Drake May. I'm not lying to y'all. So, hey, so Jerry, you a Chicago fan or you a Vikings fan? And you going to the NFL draft since you from Chicago? So you know Detroit, Chicago, right next door. Yeah. And you know the ticket's free. I got the website you could download and get the free tickets. Oh, Vikings, okay. And you going to the NFL draft? Who your franchise game change for? Shit. Man, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm up in the air about the quarterbacks, man. Like, I like Kayla Williams. But we got to be for real, y'all. It's going to be some busts in this NFL draft, man. I'm not lying to y'all, man. If y'all think all four quarterbacks is going to be the shit in the NFL, we tripping. It's going to be some busts. It's going to be some busts in this NFL draft. And it might be a quarterback we don't even expect who going to be the shit in the NFL draft. Like, I don't think Caleb Williams going to be a bust if he go to Chicago, man. Because Chicago so so like, Chicago so loaded. People not even talking about what the Bears did this offseason, man. People just think about Chicago being Chicago. Man, Chicago is the place to go with quarterback died. This, man, Chicago got a nice two number one wide receivers. They got a nice running back. And their defense is nice, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. They won, what, seven? Seven or eight games with Justin Fields last year? Man, shit. Man, okay, y'all can play if y'all want to. Talking about Chicago. It's Chicago. Y'all going to look at Chicago and win that damn NFC North. <laughs> y'all going to be like, damn, we didn't see that coming. I think Penn is on their radar, too, because Penn is, is similar to what KLC like, man. That, that's another thing, man. Like, all Vikings fans, we want J.J., and we want a Jaden Daniels, but they do not fit KLC offense. They they don't fit his offense. After I was watching Tay JJ a perfect fit for our offense, they're gonna be a star. I know I just called him and say. Yeah, I like I would love for us to drag JJ though. I'm not lying to y'all. I'm not even lying to y'all. JJ, my boy, I'll be happy. See, I like all the quarterbacks, but I don't like Drake. I like Bo Nix over Drake May, Tony. I'm not lying to you, man. And Bo Nix played a lot of college football, man. I just don't like the shit I see from Drake May, man. And can you coach that shit out of Drake May for real? Like poor pocket present and stuff like that. Can you really coach it out of a out of somebody? I don't think he's going to bust neither, though, Skull Mafia. My boy Mike still sticking around. May it bust. Yeah, I got Hey, I got Drake May being the bust. I'm not lying to y'all, man. Because that boy pocket present is horrible. And then the interceptions he be throwing. He likes to throw the football once he getting sacked. Once somebody got him about to sack him, he likes to throw the football out of a sack. Like, I don't like that shit. I hate when quarterbacks do that. Yeah, we going live at the draft. <laughs> Y'all better tap in. We go live at the draft. I might go live that whole day. Shit, from the car to the NFL draft. I'm not lying to y'all. What's Tony, what Tony say? Oh, Tony Bell, you're a crap penny. Yeah, I, hey, I like Penix. But only thing with Penix is he might can change in the NFL. Will he be able to run in the NFL? Because he ain't really run in college, though. But I don't really hold that against no quarterbacks. Because y'all see Teddy Bridgewater, the year he messed up his knee, that same year in preseason, he was running with the football. So Michael Pittance can't change. Hell yeah, Mike, I just want any quarterback to do good. Fuck good. Mike, I want any quarterback that's going to be great. Just remember, folks, the draft is a crap show. All players drafts are 50 50. Yeah. You right about that. Now, wait, you got to do your homework on the quarterback, Tony. You got to do your homework. You got to do your due diligence. Yeah, I already know, Mike, you like Drake May. But you can't tell me why you like Drake. Oh, yes, you can. You're going to tell me he played good against Duke. 
<laughs> I, I forgot about that. He, Drake May did play good against Duke. Yeah, I think I think JJ need to run a game too as a rookie, but as he get older, I think he's gonna be a problem in, in, in a um NFL, man. Cause he can't throw the football. Michigan was just a running team. We ain't really seen him throw that much. But when Jay, but only thing I can say about JJ, what people not talking about, when Michigan was on third down, like third and five or third and six, when JJ, when everybody knew Michigan needed to throw the football. They threw the football and got a first down. So, J.J. know how to convert on third down, or he might run the football. I like that a lot. People not talking about that. Shit, it's different on first and second down when, when teams don't know what you're doing. But on third and seven, when a team know you throwing the football and you throw the football and complete the pass, hey, man, you get points for me for that. Yeah, I think he's comfortable with J.J., man. J.J. a nice quarterback. And he can throw on the run real good. Better than Michael Penix, I could tell you that much. But I won't be mad at Michael Penix, man. At the end of the day, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I won't be mad at no quarterback they take. I won't be mad. I might disagree for a couple of minutes or a couple of hours, though. But I won't be mad, though. I will not be mad. I just want us to get a quarterback. He better be the right fucking quarterback. Y'all done had me wait all these damn years. Y'all done drafted the wrong damn quarterback. Nobody bleeding my home coming out of the draft. Ain't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, Jerry. That's why I said I won't be mad at no quarterback they take in the draft, though. Like, I won't be mad. If they take Drake Mate or Bo Nix, I won't be mad. I might upload a video that same night and being mad, but at the end of the day, I won't be mad. Shit, they might be the shit. So put me on live when you do the draft. Pop out, gonna bring some. Oh, yeah, I'm, man, I'm going to drop the link when I go live. Shit, you crazy. I'm dropping a link soon when I go live at the draft. Yeah, this is, a good, this is a good quarterback class. I like this quarterback class. I like this quarterback class right here, man. They got some they got some flavors in this draft. Cause I'm gonna tell y'all this though. JJ McCarthy will probably do real good in Seattle, man. I'm not lying to y'all. If he go to the Seahawks with them two running backs and them wide receivers and that tight end they got in the defense they be playing, that's a good fit for JJ. I'm not lying to y'all, man. Y'all gotta look at quarterback fifth. I like JJ in Seattle for real, man. I think that'd be a good fit. What if, what if down and pull the case Keenum? Shit, I'd be happy with that. But shit, you know what I mean? You gonna get another? I don't know. I don't know. Cause hey, Donald is young though. <laughs> he ain't shit. But what? After they say he what twenty six to twenty seven? Shit, I don't know. Hey, if he do that and get us to the NFC Championship game or a Super Bowl, shit, that quarterback, that rookie quarterback, on hold for another year. <laughs> She he ain't seen that field next year. What up, my, Anthony? What's the deal, my guy? What's the deal? What up, man? Who trying to get on here with me tonight, man? Who want to tap in with me for a couple of minutes? Yeah, Donald 26. So, shit, if he do ball out, I'll be happy with that. I don't care which quarterback ball out for the Minnesota Vikings. Because Sam Donald right now in the Vikings offense is an unknown. I would just have they move on for Kirk Cousins because we knew that shit was going to lead us. Like a rookie quarterback and a Sam Darnold is unknown. I like the unknown. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> shit. If they say you get the 50000 right now or Dora 8 got 100000 me got 200000 and Dora B got a million, and Dora C got nothing, guess what I'm doing? I'm walking through one of them doors. Shit, I'm not taking that fifty. If I can get a million or 200,000, shit, I ain't had nothing when I came here anyway. So I won't be mad if I go through that wrong damn door. <laughs> shit, I'm going through that door, though. Jared Hall might as well. Know she... Devin, Jared Hall. Man, you still talking about Jared Hall, man? <laughs> man, you ain't doing that tonight. <laughs> Hell no. Man, R.I.P. to Jared Hall, man. His season is done with the Vikings, man. We on to something different, man. 
It ain't no Jerry Hall no more. Shit. That shit over with. Put me on tonight. But shit, let's do it. Shit, say less. Shit, say less. That man said Jerry Hall. I forgot he was even on the damn team. I thought it was just Sam Darnold. <laughs> shit, Jerry Hall had his chance. He done caught a damn concussion. Then the next game. But I ain't like the way KLC did on that last game, though. He should let him just thug that shit out. Keep him in. But I ain't never seen no wild play for Jerry Hall, though. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Like, I ain't really see, see too much shit from him. And to play with Fred and they see the well, we can add. Yeah, we can add. We're gonna add more talent next year, man. That's why it's important for us to get the quarterback this year, man. And if Sam Donald stinks the shit up between week one and week nine, his ass getting benched. Purple Papa. Hey, man, you know I was coming on, bro. You know I was I, coming. I ain't know that. Yeah, man. Well, you know, I, hey, man, first of all, I got mad love for you, bro. And I appreciate everything you do. I appreciate Viking Nation. And now let's let's let us consider some things. OK, we got to think like this. If the team is going to excel, we got to believe now going into this draft. I see quarterbacks that have talent, but do you really believe they could take the Vikings to the next level or is it just a fantasy? wanting them to do it now i've seen quarterbacks who has performed in this draft that i know could probably give us a better chance i don't want to go into the situation like this where we go and spin high with low expectations i like hey man i know you're a big mccarthy fan but let's keep it 100 mccarthy in the biggest game did not lead that team mccarthy was a serviceable player who played his role most players who come out of college they're showcased so they can make it in the nfl to be what they're going to be now this is just a telltale to me that we know he's not going to arm lead a team i'm just being real he's not the running no, game not right, led not, the team. Not, not right now no okay so so i'm not gonna spin high for him if, if i oh. get him i'm gonna spin according to what he can give me now I can't get value from him high right now and expect high expectation in his first year. So I'm not going to spend high on him. A but, third round pick, a second round pick is value. So what's more important? You got to go with the Dennis Green theory. You take the best player available. Now, if we can't get, I said this on the show with rap and nobody really heard me. I want you to hear me. I, I talked privately to Yogi and he said exactly what I'm about to say. If you cannot get what you can use right now, get what you can get that you can. If we can't get a serviceable quarterback, build that defense. Now, a lot of people are going to be mad talking about, well, we, we need a franchise quarterback. Okay, I agree. If you can't get Williams or Daniels, build that defense. Go get the defensive tackle in or safety or corner and build the defense. And then find another guy when you can but take the best player available. Do not go get a quarterback hoping and wishing. I think he'll develop down the road. I don't need that. A franchise quarterback is somebody you say out the gate. That's our guy. If you can tell me that or anybody can say this is the guy, I'm 100% all in. I know that the franchise needs a quarterback. I agree with that. But I'm not just going to put any joker in there just because I like what school he went to. Or I have hope that he can do something. I need to know. Because, see, I'm not a Penix fan because I follow Washington. I never did follow Washington. But you got to give the devil his due. He came in and did two years of work of 4,500 yards. Only two players in the history of the college football did this. Mm -hmm. Mahomes and Penix. So, right. for me, you cannot just say Penix is just decent i don't understand how we evaluate quarterbacks if you no. did something at a guy who's already won three or four super bowls in what five years six years wherever long he's been there man come on man if you're on that level i got to believe you could come in here and show me similar traits i can't go with somebody who in the biggest game he's somewhere in the back and 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 the crowd's going forward, and you just holding the shirt tail and following behind. I can't go with that. 
The yeah. running back, the running back was 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 the mainstay on that on of that game and the defense. Now you're a Michigan fan, and I know, and I respect that. And I'm not here to crucify your boy because that's not what I do. But what I'm saying is, if you're going to be our front runner, you got to show me you can be that front runner. He but, did not show that. Go ahead, bro. But, but but can I ask you, question? No, Papa. Like, yes, sir. Like I get everything you're saying. Like me personally, I'm not trained enough for JJ, but. It also come down to coaching. Cause Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen was not where they was at when they were coming to the NFL. Nobody expected it from Josh Allen or Patrick Mahomes. Only thing about JJ is on third down, when they knew Michigan was throwing the football, JJ got it done and moved the chain. Even though we ain't see a, a big a big size of JJ throwing the football, you can look at JJ and tell with the right team, the right coach, he can be good. It's all on coaching. Let me ask you a question. If, sure. Patrick, if Patrick Mahone go to, let's say, like a, a, a New Orleans or a, 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 a nothing head coach, will we get the same Patrick Mahone, the great highlights in the winning and stuff like that? It would be overshadowed because they would be losing. Andy Reid bet on himself, and he bet on Patrick Mahone's potential that he could be the quarterback that he need to get the Chiefs over the hump. Because Allen Smith took him to the playoffs. But he knew he couldn't win no Super Bowl with Allen Smith. All I'm saying is, J.J. needed a good running game in year one. But down the line, I feel like he might be one of the best quarterbacks out of this NFL draft class. I'm now, so hold, long term. Now, so hold on. Let me ask a question. So because you said long term, and, I, and you know what? He could develop long term. Do we spin now on long term when we really need a quarterback right now? Come on, Zoe. Talk to me. I'm saying, I, like, when I say long term, like, JJ could sit behind Sam Donald this year. Okay. After, hey, look, hey, listen, hey, listen, though, Purple Papa. At the end of the day, all this shit fall on KOC as the head coach and development quarterback. If right. You don't, I don't care what quarterback you draft. If you are not developing this quarterback, he will not succeed in the NFL. I don't care if you go get Penix, uh, fucking Kayla Williams. Or if, you, if you're not putting the right time in with that quarterback, he will be a bust. Now let me throw let me throw something at you that you might have heard. It's a possibility. And you may, and I know a lot of people ain't gonna like this, what I'm about to say, but I'm not about being popular, I'm just about being real. The Pittsburgh Steelers are, are possibly gonna let go Russell Wilson. I, I ain't know if you that. heard it. Yeah, huh? for what? I, 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 ain't, but, I, but, I seen it, but I ain't hear the video for what? Well, well, from what I'm hearing, is that I don't think that they believe in him, is what I'm hearing. I have no other information hold on i got blocked okay i have no other information about that right now so what i'm saying is if you go get him i'll have no problem with you going to get jj because he can teach him what he learned from his coach he had a great coach can't nobody say nothing that Pete carroll was not a good coach he's a great no. coach he develops he he was a quarterback whisperer so all the things that you bring in uh, from Wilson, whether people like him or not, he ain't gonna cost us no money. He ain't gonna hurt the pockets. He's got a lot. He got a lot of what I consider to be moxie as far as pocket presence and and mobility, which is what your boy does. So you can learn from him, talk to him, but still not hurt us as far as like uh, putting him out there to the wolves and discouraging him. If yeah, you no. put a quarterback out there that's not ready, because I know what's gonna happen. You bring in McCarthy. The fanfare is gonna say we want we want McCarthy. No, you really don't. You need, like you said, you know he needs a long term. He needs a little bit of seasoning. He needs to be able to talk. And I believe between KOC and Russell Wilson, I'm hey I'm on board with that man. Look, you know I'm a Penix guy, but I'm gonna tell you what it's gonna take. We got the running back. Jones is good. Yeah, Jones like, is good. That's my favorite pickup. Absolutely. So you get a running back who can help. Your quarterback in but, times of need. But, play but, action is going to be uh, – man, that, that's the key right there. He's a play action quarterback. He could throw it 15, 20. You can put him in a position to win. But you don't want to put him out there right now with people out there saying, well, we got to have him in there. And then he get in there, and then it, it's a destruction. So then you'll say it was a wasted pick. I don't think he's a waste, and I don't think he's a, 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 a person that can't grow. But I will say this. If you want him to do his best, do not throw him in there 
and, and hope for him to become right. he not, he, a star right now. No, he's not ready week one. I've been said that. I made a video like before the in, before the college championship. I thought JJ coming back to Michigan for another year to display his arm talent because they got a new offensive coordinator. But he ain't do that. And at the end of the day, do you trust Kelsey to run the football to help a quarterback out? You you asking me? Do I do I trust him? Yes, I, I really think that I think that this might be his last year if we don't come through this year. I really believe that his ability to coach has been in question for at least from last year till now. So yeah, I mean, but with yeah, the changes that's going on, yeah. But with the changes that's going, well, I mean, first year you kind of give him the leeway with the with you know say man, I'm gonna see what you can do. Okay, that might have been some things that you could have worked on, did better. But he did a pretty good job. But yeah, he, right yeah. now, I'm just saying you're getting to be consistent in this area when we need for you to show us a strong coach making good decisions. You some sometimes fall aside that that, that mess with the quarterback uh, for uh, four quarterbacks last year. That was horrendous. You know, it was hey man. Listen, hey, you ain't never saw that before. Never saw it. So guess what? That's why it's important to go get your guy. And, and and right now, if you can't, Darnold is decent. I, I would love to get Williams or Daniels. I, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but if we can't get them, and if Pittsburgh, let's go Russell Wilson. Go get your boy, JJ. Find a defensive lineman. Add to the mix and develop the defense because the defense is coming along great. We just don't have a physical gap holder to let the other guys that are athletic do their thing. So that's why Sweat right now would be, to me, the real MVP of that defense because he's going to turn everybody else loose. He's going to take up two or three guys. So, and Pope then Pope. on the end, go ahead. No, my bad. My bad for cutting you up, though. But let me ask you this. Sure. Like me personally, I don't want the Vikings to trade up. But at number 11, if Kayla Williams and Jaden Daniels is gone, who are you drafting? It's got to listen. I'm gonna be. It's got to be Penix. It's got to be. It's, it's got to be Penix because at, at, at eleven. At, well, I'll put it like this: If you want a quarterback, Penix ain't gonna be there at uh, at, at twenty three. He ain't. I promise you, somebody gonna take him. The Raiders are gonna take him. The Raiders are gonna take him for sure. They not gonna let him slide by. They trying to build up now, and and they got a young. Here, here's the key. They got a young African American coach. Right. That 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 knows how to win. And guess what? He's going to be just like the mold of the old Al Davis. You're going to grab Dennis Green the same way. We're going to get the best player even if no one believes in him. What know. what did they do? What did they do at the quarterback to win two Super Bowls? They Ooh. took a quarterback that was a reject. Who are you talking about? The uh, the Indian guy. Um, I can't think what, of his name. What team are you talking about? The Raiders. Oh, that they won three Raiders. Super Bowls. Oh, Flores was the coach. Flores was the coach oh, and the know. quarterback. I can't think of his name right now. It's, Is it Rich it. Gannon? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna get the name to you. But, but look, um look, all I'm saying huh? is like, like we seen, like we seen Lamar Jackson. He fell all everybody passed on him. He fell they all did. Way, he fell all the way to 30. We seen Teddy Bridgewater fall all the way to 32. I right. do not think all these quarterbacks is going everywhere with people projecting them to go. I'm not lying. I'm not lying to you. I don't see it. The NFL never works like that. It never had. Okay, you got you got to, you got to remember something now. A lot of people believe the lie over the truth. Now, here, here's why I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you this. When we was drafting at that time, we took the cornerback, Michael, Mike Hughes. I think that's his name. Yeah, Mike Hughes. We took him and we overlooked Lamar Jackson. Lamar should have been a Viking. Now, the reason why we took Mike Hughes is because we thought Mike was going to come in and play a strong position at the corner. Mike, Mike wasn't with us for about, what, four years, four or five years, and he was gone. And, and with that being said, we let Lamar slide because we thought Kirk Cousins 
I never believed in Kirk Cousins, no, man. And I know why we didn't take Lamar because we didn't want to upset Kirk. And That's all these that. fans, and all these fans who love Kirk, I'm gonna share, I want to say this to y'all right now. All you fans that were supporting that dummy, man, that dude made a video when he was already in Atlanta talking about bye to the Vikings. And if that didn't tell y'all what he thought of you, ain't nothing gonna help you because he didn't care about nothing but the money. He but was me, all about the paper. He but, came to us that way. Yeah, and then he yeah. left the same way. He was yeah, sitting not, in Atlanta chilling. Let me make this video. Hey, Minnesota fans, I want to thank y'all. I'm down here chilling in Atlanta, rocking my dirty bird chain. I want to thank y'all for the money. That's exactly what he did. So I'm don't not, tell me nothing I'm about not mad at him. Yeah, man. I'm, hey, listen, make your money, but don't make us look like a fool while you're doing it. Yeah, and you could have easily, you you could have easily told us. Man, when he got, hey man, I'm gonna keep it real with you. When he got hurt, he was already selling the farm, already yeah. out the door. The he wasn't thinking world, about coming back. You gotta get mad at the fools who kept on going back to the relationship. The first well, one the should never went out and got him anyway. But I'm gonna get on my man comment though, Norris Bird, man. What up, which I'm happy you tapped in. This is my first time seeing you on my channel. Man, like and subscribe to the channel. But look though. He wasn't talking about Antonio Pierce when he said the somebody from the Raiders that won three Super Bowls. You want to talk about Antonio Pierce though, would you, Papa Papa? I'm talking about the quarterback. Yeah, he said quarterback. He no, somebody in the comment section said Antonio Pierce was born. He's not talking about Antonio Pierce. No, no, I'm talking about the quarterback. Oh yeah. man, hold on, man. Somebody Google who won two Super Bowls for the Raiders and put it up there. You'll know the quarterback I'm talking about. I'm that, talking bro? about that quarterback. Nobody believed in him. What year was and that? Then, and, 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 and yet still, he came out of New England, the quarterback. That's what I was talking about. I don't know what that person, I didn't see the comment. And then look, you might mean, can, can, they, can, may, they, they, may, they may mean well with what they saying, but I'm going to say it this way so y'all know what I'm saying. I'm only talking about things that relate to us. We had, now, you know, when, when you said the name uh, Rich Gannon, you know in that Super Bowl that Rich Gannon played in, and he was, uh, I think, the MVP that year. He played against Brad Johnson. Both of those guys were Vikings. We've let go more talent to go help other teams win. More coaches go and leave us and, and win in other places than any other team in the NFL. We've, oh, we find a way to get rid of great talent. When we let go um, our offensive coordinator, he went to the uh, Ravens, won a Super Bowl. We let go Brian, Pete. You talking about Brian Billick? Brian Billick. Brian Billick. Billick. Yeah. My, I like the him, dude. That's my dog. I like the him. Tony Tony Dungy. Yeah. Pete Carroll was a Mike ball Tomlin. boy. Yeah, Tomlin. Oh, hey, man, listen. We It's a list of names. We do all this goofy stuff, man, and we don't build from within, and they go somewhere else and do great. So right now, we're in a position. We got high stock in drafts. We got free agents coming in like no other team is doing right now. We really active. We're putting forth the effort. So now we got to stop getting in our feelings and look at what we need. We got to go forth and say, okay, this is where you do your homework at. Now, you got a car. You take your car to Larry down the street in the back alley, or you go into Midas when you need that work done because you want to make sure you got a guarantee. And now Larry may give you a low cut. Larry yeah, may gonna, say, hey, man, I can cheap. fix this. But hey, well, hey, look, it comes cheap. But guess what? When it breaks down, Larry be like, well, you know I wasn't no dealer. You know, I don't got no uh, backup with no guarantees. I couldn't, I can't help you. You want to spend more money. So my Man. thinking is this. I'm not taking nobody that I got to bring you back. I'm telling you, I'm not. You better bring me a quarterback who can throw that rock, who can tote, tote that team. If the running game suffers, I ain't worrying. That's the guy you got to get. And, 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 and whether that is going to be Williams, Daniels, or Penix, whoever you choose, it's got to be somebody who can tell you, I got an arm, and, and I've demonstrated it. I'm not going to get somebody and hope that they can do that. I can't do it. We had a point now in Minnesota. Know, but... I've been a fan for 51 years. I done watched them come and go. Some of the people that are on here right now been fans probably since 5, 10, 20 years. Let me tell you something. When you get to where I'm at, you talk like this. I'm not <laughs> trying to watch another season of Minnesota doing what they've been doing. I'm trying to watch a Super Bowl. I'm 56 years old. I came in at age five. I came in at age five. I've been with this team. So I'm telling you from experience. 
We're not going to win unless we build up that defense or get the franchise quarterback. Either one can be given right you now. Not, but you're, if, not from, you're not from Minnesota, are you? I'm from Ohio. Yo, hey, you going to the NFL draft? Bro, I'm trying to link up with you. I know you're going to be there. I'm trying to link up. Did you get your tickets? Man, they them tickets are gone, bro. No, they not. They I gone. Give you, I give you the website. I just got mad. Hey, send, hey, send it to me, but then, bro, send it to me. I'm gonna send it to you. Get, you you got Rap's number? Yeah. Send it to Rap. Rap and send it to me. Oh, I'm about I'm about to send it to Rap and while I'm on here. But uh, hey, shout out to Norse Berman, man. He said he just subscribed to my channel, man. Good looking to my guy. I appreciate that sub. But uh, me yeah, the tickets free. I just got mad today. I'm not hey man, I didn't see that. Hey man, listen, send that to me. I, I'll be there. I, yeah. I will be there. Hey, here, hey, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. When I come up there, bro, you know it's gonna be lit, bro. Because I'm gonna tell you, yeah. everybody in our clique gonna be up there, and we all gonna be repping in our colors. Hey man, this is the this is the draft that you want to be at. This is well, the draft that you want to be a part of. You this about, is we're, about the, to, we're about to watch history. Absolutely, because I believe that this is the year for change. We're not going to be sitting up in here going through, you know what, sometimes, man, we get excited about these players, and then when the season starts, we really don't have faith. We just, like, we hope. I believe this is the year you can believe it will happen. But it all takes, it starts with this, do your homework. Hey, man, what happened when mama tell you do your homework, and, and, and you go to the test, you feel confident. And when you sit in there and you play around and you, you don't do your work, man, you're scratching around, watching TV, looking out the window, and then when the test comes, you're sitting at the desk, you know you're going to fail. See, that's, that's what we've been doing at the draft. We know we're going to fail. And so we start getting anybody. Instead of knowing, the confidence has got to be this. If you got a quarterback, you know who it is, go get him. If you can't get him, build that defense. That's, that's all I'm saying. And for yeah. those that don't like that idea, you don't like football. Because, look, I can't fix the engine, but I'm going to definitely paint. I'm but, definitely fixing shocks and the tires. But, but, Papa, all I'm saying is, though, at number 11, I might trade down a little bit to try to get a second or third round pick. But at like let's say at number 15 or 12 or four, let's say like at 14 or 15, I'm taking sweat. Uh, okay, I'm with that. I, see, I'm with that. Then at then on then on the back end, I might take a Bo Nix or a Michael Pendix. I think they're still gonna be there. Okay, wait a minute. At 23. At 23, they're going to be there. Well, that's what, I, that's what I said. I said, look, get the best defensive player. If you can't get the quarterback you want, Sweat has got to come to Minnesota. He got to come. He fixes Man. everything. Hey, I just I just sent it to Rap. He said he's about to send it to you. I appreciate that, bro. Me, look, hey, I know there are probably other people that want to get on and, and chop it up with you, brother. I, okay. I, yeah, man, listen, listen, I, I respect you. I appreciate what you're doing. If you're coming on this channel, man, the first time, wipe your feet. Say hello to my man because Zo is the man. Hey, man, he fair to everybody, man, even a guy like me who ain't really all the way with his guy McCarthy. But we rock yeah, with each other like because it, we love yeah, yeah, we love yeah, the purple, like man. That, and that, hey, that's my man. Hey, look, if he come to Minnesota and, and we get him to get together, hey, man, I'll be with you all the way with it. Get he him together, take, though. He going to take us to that promised land. I, hey, Zo. I'll eat my words. I'll be on your show, man, apologizing. But I'm just saying, yeah. let's get let's get the team together the best way we know how. But look, though, Papa Papa, when you go on that website, you got to sign up. Then okay. after that, once you do your favorite team and stuff, it's going to be right there. You got to screenshot it. Once they say you got registered for the NFL draft, it's going to be a QRC code at the bottom when they say you got registered, dude. I'm about I, to do it right. I'm about to do I, it right now. I just got mad today. I'm gonna do. I'm going to do this right now. Yeah, right man. now. Yeah, man. Then we are gonna be lit. Then I'm gonna get your number. We are gonna link up early. Whatever you man, get, get my number from Rap. That's what. If you ain't, you got my number now, don't don't you? Get my number from Rap. I'm gonna get rap from Rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, man. I appreciate you tapping in with me, man. Hey, man. I love what you do, bro. And I want to keep you in. Hey, man. You are the new generation, man of bringing new Viking fans and educating and talking the game the way it needs to be talked about, man. Hey, man, a lot of times, man, we don't get to hear this real conversation. It's all right. about sharing ideas. Hey, man, we're not arguing. We're just trying to make a point. And, and, and you, if you make it sense, we want to hear it. Because we may not agree, but at the end of the day, it's all about the peak.
Right. And that's all I care about. You know what I'm saying? I agree when you're talking about, talking bad about JJ, but I respect what you were saying. What you were saying made sense. I just know the other side of things, but I respect you though. You know, Man, what I, I respect you too, bro. It's mutual, bro. It ain't one sided. And listen, whenever I talk, I know people say they say, "Man, I be preaching because Purple Papa got that preacher voice." My father was a preacher. I've been loud my whole life. I do security. I drive trucks, so I hear the the engine loud. No I talk. Huh? I, hey, man, I preach the ministry. I do a lot of things, bro. But I, 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 here's my thing, though, man. I don't want people that are trying to hear about football to feel like I'm trying to change the narrative. But yeah, I love God and I'm not ashamed of that. So oh, no, if on some, if, if on anything, people want to talk to me about God or whatever, hey, man, I got a lot to say about that. Saying, but I know y'all want to talk football, so I I'm try saying, to keep it that I'm way. I'm saying, though, but, but you do got that voice, though. I thought you was a preacher. <laughs> I, I, I've been preaching and doing ministry for a long time, yeah, bro. I, I it's, you did. It's in like, me. Man, you got that voice. Like, what? <laughs> like, man, how you get that then? <laughs> yeah, I pre hey, man, I appreciate you tapping in with me, though, man, for sure. Always, brother. Man, be safe. Yes, sir. All right. Why are we going to trade JJ so he can go to hell to us? We, hey, we not trading JJ. I don't know why they keep on talking about that. JJ not getting traded. Pennis played six year college for a major. Shit, Pennis ain't getting injured in the last two years. <laughs> Shit, he was healthy and he ball. Man, who else trying to tap in, man? What y'all talking about? Skull tapping in. Yeah, Skull Mafia. What you want to do, Skull Mafia Barber? You tap in. Shit, you got a cell phone? Shit, you got a cell phone. You ain't got to stay on all night. Shit, you know how we do it. Um, my man say hell to the red. Are oh, you a, you a you a, a commander fan? Which quarterback is y'all going to take though? That's the question. I want to know which quarterback the commander is going to take. So, commander, please tell me which quarterback y'all going to take in this NFL draft. I want to know. My boy Dante tapped in or East Coast Ground. One of them people over there. What up with y'all? For injury, 2018, 19, they only two years. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not I'm not worried about that. Like the past two years, he was healthy. And I ain't gonna lie, Pennix can't throw the football. I just want to see Michael Pennix get more mobile in that damn pocket. Like you gotta run the ball, son, bro. Don't be like Kirk Cousins. Or if not, play in that pocket. He can't play in that pocket a little bit, though. But I wanna see, I wanna see you get freaky with that ball. For real, we all family PG for life. You know it. He said, pre. Ooh, my boy Nud tapped in. Okay. What up, my guy? Hey, we live from the bowling alley, bro. Okay. How you feel? Uh, we just won the first game. I bowled a uh, 210. Yeah, 210. Man, you love the bowling, man. Every day. Every fucking day. I was about to lose my shit, bro. We on the floor. Hey, what's up? Who your top? Who your top three quarterback in this year NFL draft? Uh, one Jaden Daniels, two Caleb Williams, three Drake May. Okay, you a Drake May fan? I mean, I'm. I mean, the kids have got it pretty much all. I mean, it's kind of hard to disagree with everybody that knows more than I do. So, no, it ain't that though. Like, like why you like May over? Like, why you like him over Bo Nix? Like that's the part I would I'm say like, he. Hold on, hold on, no, but that's the part I got with people. People don't like Bo Nix for whatever reason. They don't like Drake May. I don't get that part. I mean, I would say they're all pretty much. It's like pick who you like as a person more. Like they all, pretty, Drake May and Bo Nix kind of have the same ish skill set ish. Like, but Drake May's proved to be better in like the Wonderlick testing. He was better. Um, like interviews, to you, yeah, that doesn't matter to you, but uh, to the guys that are to the guys that are drafting, it does matter. Like, I mean, so CJ Stroud he did bad on the test, and he played better on the quarterback than I drafted last year. I mean, let's look at the situation. 
Sorry, bro. <laughs> uh, no, he, I mean, he was in a way better situation. You, you, you can't even argue that. So, um, do you not know who the Carolina Panthers owner is, bro? What up, what up, man? How you doing? I'm, I'm good, bro. I'm good. We grinding. <laughs> yeah, I see that uploading videos all day. Hey, man. I... What up, though? Hey, man, hit me up when you leave there. I will, bro. All right. I want to. I, I got. I got a little bit of time to kind of see. I got a little bit of time. Okay. Unless y'all are getting a lot of feedback from it. I'm sorry, I'm in game time. But hey, bro. Like, uh, I'm so happy Ken Sutton's about to get arrested, bro. Y'all have a laugh about that. Yeah, he got yeah, I'm hoping that like he gets arrested soon, so that way we can uh, petition the NFL to let us release him because of the morality cause. Other than that, we're, we still have yeah, but we still have to eat the eight and a half dead cat uh, unless he gets formally charged. Formally, no, unless he gets formally charged and arrested. Man, that shit gonna take years I'm gonna go this year, bro. We need to go get Gilmore or something. Hey, I'm not gonna say we because you ain't a Lions fan, so. Hey, Josh, who you talking about? But I'll holler at you, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Jake. You said who's my top three right now? Right now, your top three. Your list might have changed. I know you had Sam Hartman on that motherfucker. Yeah, I'm, I'm teetering. Number one right now between him and Bo Nix still. No, but, no, but no order though. Just your top three. So it's definitely those two. And I tell you what, man, I watched so many games of uh Michael Penix lately. He's my he's he's up there too. He's in my top three right now. Yeah, I like Michael Penix. I like him. He's so, he's so, so, so who, good. Who your other you saw so you got Sam Hartman, Michael Pittman, who your other quarterback? And Bo Nix. Yeah, see, you know what's crazy with me though? People are taking Drake May over Bo Nix, but I don't know why. Like, if 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 like if you like what you see from Bo Nix, me from uh, Drake May, even the bad shit, the bad shit is very bad. But how y'all gonna know what Bo Nix did in all them years in college football? Yeah, let me let me pull my list up of film that I've done. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna tell you exactly how I feel about. Uh, Drake May, because Drake I know, May, I, I know Drake May got poor pocket present and he throw crazy interceptions. <laughs> yeah, that's one. So Drake May, we've done or I've done four. So I watched the NC State game, Clemson, Miami, and Minnesota. Those are all the games that I watch of his right now. Every single game, <laughs> exactly what you're saying. The pocket presence thing is a fucking issue. It's, I mean, it's not like bad it's like really bad i mean he'll he'll stand there and get hit by like three dudes and still throw it like in the minnesota game he threw an interception like that and i'm like why the fuck would you throw that shit yeah i i don't know what people see he throws he throws balls in the ground and you know i look at the mechanics like quarterbacks is my thing right michael Penix throw motion is so short and fast and quick yeah, and strong he thought that drake quick. may drake may's like like this when he throws i'm like that shit's gonna get knocked out of your hand in the league you gotta do like miles right. garrett coming at you right. with that with that wingspan that's a fumble waiting to happen see i ain't know that though i, I ain't know that but i ain't really paid it's that bad much. yeah it's it's real bad i don't see the consistency from tez walker the, that wide receiver everybody's in love with he's inconsistent the shit too Come i don't on, know man. what people I gotta ask you this though, man. I ain't mean to cut yeah. you off, bro. I gotta no, ask no, no, you, you good, you good. Now, I know you've been on my boy head, man. What you don't like about JJ McCarthy, man? Do you but hold on before that? Do you think he could be one of the top quarterbacks in this NFL draft class with the right coaches? Yeah, it's not the fact that I think he sucks. I just think everybody's like everybody's projecting to be a first round quarterback when he's really like a late second round quarterback in my eyes. Okay. So I'll, I'll explain it like this. 
I've tried to. I've watched so much film on JJ McCarthy trying to find shit that I like. Yeah, you watch right? games. Fuck the film. I remember after certain games you was talking about them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean Nebraska, Purdue, Eastern Carolina, Bowling Green. Oh, I went back and watched. Played, he threw them three interceptions. Was that Bowling Bowl, Green? Bowling Green, and yeah. they were bad. They were really right. bad. Um, but you know that. I mean, we've talked about that too. But the thing yeah. that uh, let me talk about the pauses. What I like about JJ McCarthy: if a dude's open, he's gonna throw the ball. And that sounds more simple than it is <laughs> when, when you watch NFL dudes. It's like just throw but the open guy. When you he say just, he open, or 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 do he throw people open? No, nah, he throws to the open guy. I don't think he throws people open. You don't think, I think so? Outside of the numbers is inconsistent where dudes are supposed to be open, extending. I seen, I counted, hold on, on my list, I counted 15 times, yeah, 15 times for Roman Wilson last year where he had to readjust for a short iron pass from, pass from JJ. But then, I believe, which game was it? It was, uh, I can't remember. I think it was the Eastern Carolina game. Donovan Edwards was running a, a wheel route 60 yards downfield. He hits him, and it's a perfect pass. So I'm like, what the fuck is up with JJ? Like, you'll make an amazing pass, and then the next five passes will be shit, and then you'll make another amazing pass. Like, it's so inconsistent. So I'm willing to bet, kind of like what you said, if he sits behind somebody like a Ryan Tannehill or even a Kirk Cousins, mm -hmm. the running ability and stuff is, is great. Like. I, I love that about him. I love that he gets the, the ball out quick. I love that he is very athletic. But it's just the throwing is what throws me off. So if he got with like a pure passer, and I think like the, that's a dying breed. I think Kirk is the last one. If he gets with somebody like him, he might be able to teach him how to throw the ball better than what he's doing right now. So so let me ask you this, though, because I about to do a video about this, though. But I did, I did a couple of video talking about him. People say I was crazy. I can see the Atlanta Falcons taking the quarterback in this NFL draft class just because Kirk Cousins is only on, under contract just for two years, this year and next year. After that, mm -hmm. his contract is done. And the Falcons will have a quarterback, probably a franchise quarterback, under contract after Kirk Cousins. So people are talking about, I mean, the Falcons won't take no quarterback. They just signed Kirk Cousins to all that big deal. That's when, that's when you draft a quarterback when you have a quarterback in place. Yeah, yeah. I I think if Spencer Rattler or or Michael Pratt is sitting there, why wouldn't you want to pick him up? Right. Have Kirk might Kirk's got two more years at tops. Right. If that shit don't work out, I mean, you probably agree with me with this. If that shit don't work out in Atlanta with all them pieces around, he's gonna call that shit a short career. No, shit. let him get one. Call the short career. Shit. Let him get one more injury this year. He might retire this year. Yeah, right, right. You know, hell yeah. But but people say you crazy. They just took you know on YouTube they go crazy. You don't know what you talking. I said how you draft a quarterback once you have a quarterback in place. You don't draft a quarterback when you don't have a quarterback in place. Like name one mm -hmm. team that drafted a quarterback when they had no damn quarterback and they were successful. You put too much pressure on them. No, I'm, I'm like, I'm like that shit. Don't, it make every single like Jacksonville. We, we put too much. I don't like oh, Trevor yeah. Lawrence. Oh, I yeah. don't like fucking Trevor Lawrence. But oh, like, you comment on my video though. But look, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't to you though. But I'm talking like the main media though. Like they don't oh, talk yeah, about yeah, Trevor yeah. Lawrence. No, like, because they don't. You know why? Because they don't want to go back on what all that shit they've been saying. They've been saying he's generational. All that. It's hard to admit that shit now. But I'm saying I never seen video where people talk about him like this dude is really bad right now. Mm -hmm. Right now he look like a game managing quarterback. Yep. But yep. people, man, I did that video. People, in my comment section blast me. You don't know shit about football. You only watch Jacksonville. Trevor Lawrence ain't the far. It's the offensive line. It's this. I'm like, bro, he been there for two years. I ain't, I ain't never seen no wild play from him playing in the NFL. I, I tell people this all the time. You can use this argument, too, to those fucking idiots. If Justin Fields was on Jacksonville the last couple of years and Trevor Lawrence was on the Bears, we'd be calling Trevor Lawrence. Like, Trevor Lawrence is just a good quarterback. That's it. He's not great. He's, He's not generation. He's just a good quarterback. If you flip those, we'd be saying 
Trevor Lawrence is a fucking bust if he was with the Bears. And Justin Fields would be eat in a better situation balling out right now. I truly believe that. Yeah, like I tell people, like people's like I said, Justin Field, it'll probably on his way to be a bust. I don't know yet. But Trevor Lawrence not too far away from, from um Justin Fields for real. Yeah, like when it comes to it, statistically, no. Like, like I seen some shit on the internet. I pulled it up. They compared him to Daniel Jones. His his stats are comparable to Daniel Jones. I had said that months ago. They must have been. I never marked. knew that shit until I seen this shit on the internet. Go go compare. You can compare theirs, and you can also compare Mac Jones, who's on our team right now. They had this. It's almost damn identical. Of the stats that they had. Like I told people, like like Trevor Lawrence had a way better offense than Daniel Jones. <laughs> The Daniel Jones had to worry offense. about who was his number one wide receiver every week or if Saquon was going to be hurt or not. But people want to talk shit on, on Daniel Jones. But I'm like, so you're saying, realistically, we're comparing the stats, right? So we were, and you probably thought the same way. When we look at that, if Daniel Jones is on the Jaguars, he'd be bowling the fuck out. I was shocked when I seen I was shocked once I seen Daniel Jones had more touchdown passes than Trevor Lawrence. I'm like, what the fuck? Back. And passing yards. Mm-hmm. I'm like, damn, I knew dude wasn't good, but I didn't know he was that bad at the quarterback spot. But people not talking about that. No, I've I've watched this shit for years, man. I did not want this dude. I did not want him. I did not want him. I've never I never seen one ounce of generational out of this dude. Me neither. I never got you know how like when you watch Andrew Luck in college, you was like, God damn, he's ready to ready to go right now. He came well, over I to the lie. league. I like Travis Lawrence in college, though. Oh, you did? Yeah, but he, but I, but I won't say he was the best quarterback I've seen in twenty fucking years. He was good in college. Oh yeah, when he came in that freshman, that freshman year, I think is what really fucked everybody's head up though, because Kelly Bryant was their quarterback before, and he got benched for Trevor Lawrence because of some off-field dispute with with Dabo Sweeney, and he was playing great, and they would have won a national championship with him in place if they didn't switch. But since they just switched Trevor Lawrence in and he played on par with Kelly Bryant, everybody was like, oh, this motherfucker's generational. <laughs> you like, in 20 years? No. Nah, that I'm Andrew like, Luck still holds that title. I'm like, come on, man. Like, people, like, that's why I said in my video, the media not even talking about this, man. Trevor Lawrence about to be a bust. But I just feel like Jacksonville is going to give him a contract. I have a documented video of this one dude that me and him used to be cool back in the day. But I came on his show one day, and he told me to my face. He said, I could tell you right now with every fiber of my being that Trevor Lawrence is not going to be a bust. He's going to be a great quarterback. I'm like, you willing to take that bet? Man, I text him today. Like, how you still feel about that bet? <laughs> yeah. He, uh, burnt, he right, he right cause at the end, like I told people in that video I made. The Houston Texans they got way better this offseason. The coast, if they quarterback can stay healthy, and if he can read defense and make a couple throws, they're gonna be a better football team. Where do Jacksonville fit in? And y'all about to pay your quarterback in two years some big money, or probably another year. And probably this year. That's what I'm saying. Plus, y'all can win with Trevor Lawrence on a rookie deal. So y'all think y'all about to win with him getting paid 50 or 60 million dollars? <laughs> Let let let's go back. I gotta get your I gotta get your opinion on this. When we played the Chargers, you remember when Trevor Lawrence threw five interceptions in that game? Five. Yeah. And it, wait, no, he threw four. He, he almost threw, threw five. Three. Yeah, he, he threw, threw like, four. Yeah, yeah, he, 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 he threw four over. total, and he almost threw five because that that linebacker dropped that shit. I think it was Kyle Van Noy dropped that shit right. And then we ended up coming back. Travis Etienne kept us in the game, and then we kicked the field goal and we won, right? But nobody get, ever gives the praise to Travis Etienne for how many games that he's won for us. It all goes to Trevor Lawrence. Now, if you know if it was any other quarterback that they haven't been talking about Trevor Lawrence as much, Monday they would have rung him out. Like, you should have never thrown four interceptions in the game. We can't be talking about this guy. But since it was Trevor Lawrence, nobody says shit about it. They'll never say shit about it, man. Like I like I said in that video, y'all running back is the best offense player on your football team. I, I agree, hundred percent. If I'm him, I want twenty mil a year, or I'm walking. 
You know who we're about to get rid of? And Ooh. it's said to make cap space for Trevor Lawrence. If anybody's out there suiting and ready to take over Josh Allen in this contract, he's going to be gone. And he's the best player on our team. Y'all just franchise tag him, though. Yeah, if we trade him, then somebody else is taking care of us. <laughs> oh, y'all, oh, 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 you think y'all going to trade him? I, f- I foresee that shit coming. I really do. And I don't know. I might enter the transfer port after that. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be completely honest with you, bro. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I don't see y'all trading him, no. If if we don't, I'll be happy. But if we do, y'all then like if you trade him, what the fuck y'all got on defense on the D line? If I, I I just wonder how this draft is gonna go. I really do. I mean, they got they got hit this bitch on the nose. Like I said, like I said, man, the Jazz right now. Have to win the division and make a play and win the playoff game. And Trevor Lawrence have to be the reason they won the division. You just can't be tagging along, bro. You have to be a different maker in that offense. You just can't be handing the ball off to that running back you got or or dicking the dunk to that running back. He breaking the shit for 15, 60 yards. No, and then don't get any credit on Monday morning. Never. No, but you gotta be a different maker, bro, in that offense. You with the number one overall pick. And you you look like you about to be a bust. Mm-hmm. He ain't did he ain't did nothing in the NFL yet. He ain't did shit at but all. Nobody talking about that. That's crazy to me. People, my, you don't know shit about football. I said, bro, how I I told you why me your video with clickbait. I said, bro, I'm telling you why I feel the way I feel. Like this shit ain't no clickbait. We could just trade him because just trade That's him what away. I said, said they're gonna trade him after this season after he fell. <laughs> Shit, they not about to beat no damn. I got Houston win that division again. I think Houston's about to beat the shit out of us twice. <laughs> I think they beat y'all twice this year. I believe so. I think they beat us twice this year too. Yeah, I know the first game they played y'all. I looked, they scored like thirty-seven or thirty-four points or some shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I got called crazy. I know you got called crazy for your take, but. As a Jacksonville fan, they're like, you just ain't a fan of us. I'm like, I'm just being real, bro. Like, last year was we were nine and eight. And yo, I did yo, my yo, record. Three games, though. Yeah. And we and we gave it up. And then this past year, I said that we were going to be eight and nine. And people were like, how are we going to get one game, you know, be one game worse than we were last year when we made the playoffs? I said, because Houston's in our fucking division. And, you know, the Colts are going to be actually better than yeah. what people expect. And then, bam, we were eight and nine. Hit that shit right on the head. I'm like, dude, I know my team. <laughs> I know. The, uh, it's, it's just that we have no pieces there that are going to make us better because Trevor Lawrence is in place. And then what do we do this offseason, you know? Sign two more wide receivers on top of our stack wide receiver room. For the who fucking y'all, what? Who y'all sign? So we got Devin DuVernay and uh, Gabe, Gabe Davis. Oh, David from Baltimore, Buffalo. Who the other receiver? Devin Duvernay was the kick returner and receiver for the Ravens. I don't know shit. But that's I, that's I, been I, that's been injury. I like that Davis pickup though. I like that pickup. Yeah, but but it's like we got Zay Jones and, and and Christian Kirk and Evan Ingram. Like we, and then we got Jamal Agnew, who's one of the most underrated guys in the league when he's healthy. Yeah, they like, need we don't need all that shit. Oh, we got and we drafted Parker Washington from Penn State last year. What do you play? Wide receiver. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all love he, that wide receiver. Man, he was number 11 for Penn State last year. That was wrecking people's shit when he got the ball. Yeah, I think Houston, man, going to be – I think Houston going to be a problem in the AFC this year. I'm not lying to you, man. I think they and, – and Houston got a got some draft picks, and they know how to draft too. Man, they got Joe Mixon now. Yeah, I like that pickup, man. That was an underrated pickup. Shit, when that when that pickup happened, I looked at my phone. I almost broke that shit. <laughs> and they got Daniel Hunter to go with Will Anderson. I almost broke my phone when I saw that shit too. <laughs> I told people like, I got CJ Stroud, my number three quarterback in this year. This year quarterbacks coming up. Yeah, it's it's hard not to put him. I mean, you got him in your top five. It's hard not to put him top ten at this point. Yeah, but at the end did. of the day, if you look the way he played quarterbacks. He wasn't doing dink and dunks. He was throwing the ball short, mm-hmm. medium, deep. Like, how you really game plan against a quarterback who not – he throw that bitch – he throw that boy – he throw that boy to whoever. Like, he'll throw that boy 30, 40 yards down the field. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. And him and him and the receivers gonna get better because they all are young. Shit, I knew I knew CJ Stroud was gonna be good regardless of where he went. But except for the Panthers, I thought it would be in the same situation that Bryce Young is in right now. And Bryce Young is under and undersized, so that is not in his favor either. The Panthers tripping, man. Like the Panther, I don't get they the didn't Panthers. do shit this offseason. And the, the crazy part is with the Panthers is y'all not even paying nobody no money. Like, why y'all not trying to trade for Devontae Adams or T. Higgins or somebody? Like, y'all not even paying nobody. Your number one wide receiver is who? Adam Thielen? Mm-hmm. They had DJ Chark, but he's been hurt. Yeah, and then who bro. else they got? They got Terrace Marshall Jr. from LSU who ain't been shit. And then they got uh, your boy from Ole Miss. Uh, they they drafted him last year. Will. No, not Trey Will. Uh, he was a rookie Will. last year. God, well, I'm, for, I'm forgetting his name. I said that he was going to be rookie of the year if that shit worked out and it didn't work out at all. Who who he come from? Ole Miss. No, I'm talking about NFL. Oh, oh, oh you said they drafted him. Yeah, they drafted him. What's that kid's know. name? Man, they receiver core was horrible. I don't know who the fuck it is. He ain't do much. Uh, yeah, he didn't do much, and I think he was he was battling the injury too. Oh man, what the fuck is that kid's name? Jonathan Mingo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I, I, oh yeah. I remember him. He ain't yeah. do shit last year. He was hurt too. So, you know, so. I can't believe uh, Curtis Samuel lasted that law in free agency, though. Curtis Samuel? Yeah. yeah he, went, he went to Buffalo. I can't believe he lasted that long. People, uh, and I can't believe that uh, the, he's he's one and Antonio Gibson. I forgot where Antonio Gibson went, but they did him dirty in Washington, too. Mm. The dude came off like a 1,300-yard season. and They'll they run just, it back, right? Yeah. I think he went to – where did he go? I think he went to Buffalo. He, uh, he might have gone to Buffalo. I forgot. I forgot. He went somewhere, though. But he went somewhere, and I was like, good. Oh, no, he went to New England. Oh, so wow. him and R- Ramondre Stevenson going to go crazy up there together. He always get hurt, though. He's going to get a lot of carries over there. Yeah. Ramondre's good, but, yeah, you're right. He fucking gets hurt all the time. Hell, yeah, he do. He always get hurt. Yo, so. Yeah, but I don't know, man. Like – I don't know. I'm I'm not hype on Trevor Lawrence like most people is, man. Like we're we're in the same boat, brother. This dude right around the corner from fucking Justin Fields, man. He just the only quarterback from that quarterback class that ain't get traded yet, and who start? Cause Zach Wilson still on the Jets, but other than that, that whole damn quarterback class was a bust. Mm-hmm. From well, top top to fucking bottom. Justin Field might. I, I like Justin Field in um Pittsburgh though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Man, like that's that. that shit was the perfect situation. Cause not only are you going behind somebody that can teach you how to it's not the fact that Justin Fields that doesn't know how to throw a ball, but throwing college ball versus NFL ball and the speed of it is way different. And we see we see that. That's why dudes come over and struggle like Tim Tebow and shit. But you going to somebody that like knows how to throw the deep ball, like a, probably the best in the history of the game. Like Russell Wilson's deep ball in the history of the game is probably the best ever. Man, they they said they said Pittsburgh might cut Russell Wilson. Man, they're not cutting Russell Wilson. I mean, they were talking about the extension at the end of the year. <laughs> Man, they said they said they might well. cut him. I don't know. I ain't, I seen I seen the shit on the internet, but I ain't click on the video though. Uh, that's that's crazy. Why would you Why would you go out there and have him fight between three different teams? Because he was going to sign to. Uh, Apparently he was going to sign to the Giants, but they weren't open to a quarterback competition. Oh my man, Bear Lie say everybody likes Justin, just not us. The Bears we suck. I think Justin Field. I, I'd rather play Field over Wilson in, in um, Pittsburgh. I'm not gonna lie to you, cause cause to me Justin Field is still the unknown. <laughs> Shit, I want to see what we do in that offense with Pittsburgh with some receivers, a running back, a O line, a defense. Man, shit, y'all tripping. Justin Field could do the read, a read option run that bitch for 80 yards. Mm-hmm. He ain't gonna need to do that in Pittsburgh, though. They got right. they got so much, so many fucking weapons there. Yeah, they do though. But I, I like that Pittsburgh fit though. But we I don't know, man. Chicago might take K. I think Chicago might take Drake May for real. Chicago might? 
Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. It's something telling me they might take Drake Mate, man. I don't know if they're gonna put all their cards in the basket like that because that would totally. But can I ask you a question though, Dante? I'm happy you're yeah. on here though. Like the draft is one month away. Why have you came out and said you were drafting Justin Fields yet, though? Like you are the number one pick. What are you damaging by saying you are drafting Justin Fields number one? Caleb Williams. Justin Fields. Yeah, Kay- I said Justin Fields. I'm tripping. Yeah, yeah Caleb Williams. No, no, no. They've been connected for the last fucking couple months now. Yeah, Why I'm haven't saying, you come out? Yeah, yeah I mean. What, you got the number one pick. Like, what the fuck? You are like you got number two and number three. You the first yeah. team that pick in the NFL draft. Like, why not just come out and say, we taking Kayla Williams? I don't know what their reserve is. Because that's what Jacksonville did for two years. They said, we're taking Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, that, yeah, just in the Bengals. Bengals said they were taking Joe Burrow. Yep. Yeah, it, it, those both were a lock. And it, and it wasn't like you had to go through the rumor mill to find it. They were saying that themselves. So, yeah, I don't know why the Bears are doing that. I mean, maybe they're just – it might be a case where – some weird ass quarterback comes. It might be Michael Penix Jr. come out and to be number one, and we're gonna be like, "Oh shit!" I think it might be Drake May. I just feel like they, I feel like they're gonna trade with the Commanders and take Drake May. Yeah, they might. I, try I think to they're hurt. just they're waiting on all the cards to fall for some reason. I'm saying all though, these but, days to play out. I feel, but if Caleb Williams, your guy, why are you doing that though? That telling me he's not your guy. Yeah, Cause we are we already in the middle of March, and you got the number one overall pick. Just come out and say we driving Kayla Williams. What yeah. difference do it make? Like you had a number one overall pick. Like what the fuck? Just say you take Williams at number one. That's showing me they might not take him at number one. They might. I mean, they might not. You make a very good point. They they might not. But here's what they run the risk of doing. If they don't draft a number one. You're risking that Caleb Williams is going to the Commanders with with, with uh, Cliff Kingsbury, with great weapons around him too. That's a problem. And then also on the other side of that is if you draft Caleb Williams number one, this is this is where I think it's gonna fuck up the draft. Though if I if I call this shit, you know I called it first. The only other quarterback that I can see that fits with Cliff Kingsbury is JJ McCarthy. At number what number two? At number two, I could, I could, I could, see, could, I could see that because the Commanders Reed never came out and said they want a quarterback beside Caleb Williams. I think, and that's because Cliff is there. That's it. Jay he Daniel, had they have that connection. Jay Daniel not a lock at number two. And would you want to put Jaden Daniels, who gets hit a lot against not only the Cowboys and the Eagles? Twice, he, four times a year, but he got. But but on the back end though, with with Jaden Daniels, once his ass you hit, you are gonna learn how to slide or run out of bounds. You are gonna learn quick in the NFL. I shit. How many how many games did we see of damn Jaden Daniels already? One, two, three, four, five, you play six. College though, man. You know you playing against people who who not even going to the NFL. Who who don't even play football. They just on the field because they fast. I'm just saying, once you take hit in the NFL, your ass gonna learn how to slide or run out of bounds. Don't I don't know. That's that, that's never been in his DNA. He loves to know. take I, hits for whatever reason. I just I just think he's gonna learn once you take a fucking NFL here from a grown ass man. Well, here's the thing, too, with LSU's offense that they ran this year, they never check down. Ever. What you mean by they, that? They'll never check down to the tight end within five yards or a swing pass out to the running back. I like the film that I watched last night. It was against Missouri. They ran four verticals with with their wide receivers like ninety percent of the time. It was either he was throwing downfield or he was running. So they've already restricted his offense so much, and that's what he's used to. Who's willing to take a shot on that shit? He's accurate as shit, but like we don't know what he's like between ten and fifteen yards, man. I would not take a flyer on Jaden Daniels. He's he after I watched that, that was a final nail in my coffin for him. Like he's down, he's better than Drake May, but he's not that much better than me. I would not take a flyer on him. Great player. I said that all last night. Great fucking football player. But look, I mean, though, but 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 what if you could teach 
that quarterback to do your check down. Like it's okay, or or you think it's too late? You think it's too late already? Let's put it like this, though. If you played how he was playing at LSU and you were balling the fuck out, it was either you were throwing a bomb downfield or you were running for a first down the whole time and you were taking hits and not getting hurt and you won the Heisman. Don't you think that little thing on your shoulder is going to tell you, I don't need oh, yeah. to switch up how I of fucking course. play? But what would happen once you start taking hits and a bitch feel different? And once you throw the ball deep, when you got a running back right there or a tight end open right there, but you throw the ball deep and it's another interception. So you you already got two interceptions in one foot in one football game because you're throwing the football deep. I, I think I, to answer your question, I think it can be taught. But the one thing I know that can't be taught that he does that I had to put down as a negative. The dude does not throw backside. Never, bro. Behind him, outside the hash. Well, front side meaning like if you're right-handed, most of your receivers that you're throwing to on your right side instead of throwing across your body. Backside is like throwing throwing across your body on the left side. You talking about Aaron Rodgers throws, huh? Yeah. He doesn't throw backside whatsoever, and that shit is not going to work. When you're just looking at the right side of the field the whole time, that's what he never looks over there. I was like, God damn, Jaden, I would not draft you. I seen that for four games straight. You Damn, can't, you're really? not going to be, yeah, you're not going to be able to change that about him. And, and it might take that one good hit like you're talking about from somebody for him to switch up. But I don't know if that switch would be real fast. I think what you'll see is he'll start to get better. If he doesn't get hurt, he'll start to get better down the, down the ear. But that's, I mean, you're teaching a 23, 24 year old kid at this point to like change his whole philosophy <laughs> up. That, that shit's crazy. So I want to ask you this though. For all Vikings fans, you know I'm a Viking content creator, though. Yeah. So which quarterback would you prefer the Vikings to take? I switched up the way I thought about this, man. And I've done some mock drafts with this same philosophy. I don't think Bo Nix is the right quarterback for you guys. Even though I personally like him, I think he runs a spread offense perfectly. I think down the field he's great. But he, you guys don't have the team – for that because Kevin O'Connell wants to throw the fucking ball 70, 75% of the time. Yeah, well, I told Even you. with Aaron Jones. And now you got somebody that's going to take a pass on the outside and run that bitch, right? That's in his, that's why you guys signed him. Cause he's a little bit of what Dalvin cook used to be, which is get involved into the, the pass game, the perfect quarterback for you guys. And I'm going to tell you, man, if I if I'm actually up there, I hope we meet up. Cause I'm going to dap you up and be like, you guys got the right one. And you guys are you, be co- solid. you coming to the draft. I might be doing media up there. I'm trying to figure it all out with my job right I'm, now. I'm, I'm saying, but is you coming though? I don't. I don't know yet. I'm probably. Man, you gotta let me. If you do come, hell yeah, we, you gotta let me know. Like I'm coming. I because I, yeah. I just got my ticket tonight. I'm at the NFL draft. I'm going live. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, I'll let. I'll definitely let you know because yeah, I, I might know. be coming I'm, up there to do some media and uh, well, then, you, we'll, oh, you, then we'll hang out. Well, you are gonna love our downtown. You are gonna love. Down- Where you from, Dante? I'm in Pennsylvania right now. Oh, you gonna love our downtown? I'm from Baltimore originally, so yeah. But you live in Pennsylvania now. Yeah. Oh, you gonna love our downtown? You gonna see that river walk with that? Oh my god, man! Please let me know if you coming down here. It's a lot of people coming down here though for the draft, though. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, I, I'll I'll definitely let you know. Yeah. But if the, if this happens on draft night, bro, if you guys get fucking Michael Penix Jr., I'm like automatic. I I think. That's a perfect fit for you guys, bro. We not driving no down no Spencer rattling round one. I like Michael Pennis though, but like I like I told Papa Papa, I think I think Michael Pennis will be there at twenty three. Man, depending on, it depends on how his pro day is. Okay, so let's say this: the Viking got up got to pick number eleven, and they trade down to pick number seventeen. And they take my. You think he'd be at seventeen, right? Mm. I mean, you think he going? I don't think all the quarterbacks going high, man. I do not think Drake May, JJ McCarthy, Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels. I don't think all the quarterbacks is going before pick number twenty. I don't believe it. They say this shit every year with quarterbacks. Oh man, it. I don't believe it's it, man. definitely something to it. think about, but I don't. I don't see. 
I don't see him dropping into the twenties. So would you take him at number eleven? I would. If I was you guys, I would take Michael Penix Jr. with the eleven pick. I would just do it. But only thing about Michael Penix is that he probably can learn in NFL because Teddy Bridgewater learned. I think Teddy learned this his third year with the Vikings. Is running with the football when the pocket break break down or whatever the case might be to be more mobile. Michael he Penix did. not that mobile though. The last four games of the season that I watched, and I watched most film of Michael Penix Jr. this year, the last four games of the season right before they played Oregon again, he ran when the, when the pocket was collapsing. Oh, I think did? he was tired. Of, yes, I was thinking that he was tired of getting getting hit so much. But they ran even a couple packages with, with him running to the end zone and scoring too. It was the, <laughs> the later half of the season with him being more mobile was – way more wide than it was at the beginning. So I think he could do it. They say he can move. So let me ask you this though. He can move. So let me ask you this. Cause I'm all I'm all about building the defense in the offense. So if we pick Michael Pence at number 11, what's good D tackle you think at 23 that come in and start week one that will be available for the Vikings. Man. Cause we ain't got no D tackles. We got linebackers, we got corners, safeties. We ain't got no D tackles. We got D ends. We ain't got no D tackles for real. Yeah. The Jerzon Newton from Illinois might be there. Oh, yeah, I like him. I like him. He's a dog. But I'll tell you one dude. What well, depends on what what offensive scheme does Brian Flores run now? Still a four three? Man, he run a little bit of everything for real. Depend who out there. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, well, it, it depends. So I know the, a, a good three, four defensive lineman who plays three tech. He's from Oregon. And we watched a little bit of his game last night. Brandon Dorless. Just go watch his highlights, bro. Where you Fucking from? Oregon. He's strong as shit. He gets in the backfield and he's way faster than, What's than what his size says. Uh, Brandon Doorless. Here, I'll put it in the private chat for you. Well, he he must be, he must be undersized. You said don't worry about the no, weight. He, no, no, I'm saying no. He's like fast for his size. He's a big oh. dude. Yeah, he, he's he's yeah. real big. I like Michael Pennings though. I won't be mad at Michael Pennings at 11. He uh, in the last three years, a fun fact about him: he's six three two ninety. I mean, he's big as shit. Okay. Um. But the last three years, he has the most quarterback pressures. I mean, he had like f- like 40-plus three years in a row. At Oregon? At Oregon, bro. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know his game like that until I watched that shit last night. I'm like, damn. Let me if ask he you wants- this, though. Go ahead. What did you about to say? If you want no, I was, saying, I was saying if he wants to play just strictly defensive tackle because he can line up on the outside and play edge too. But if he – if he wants to play defensive tackle at the next level, and that's the guy that you want to get. If Jerzon Newton is not there, you could probably get him in the third round, and he's gonna be good as shit. No, we ain't got no third round pick though. But look, oh uh, y'all don't y'all got uh, y'all got two fourths, right? Yeah, we got two fourths. Yeah. So look though, like I don't know if I'm crazy or not. I don't know because I was high on Leonard Taylor the second or third, but I see him dropping in PFF mock draft. Mm-hmm. They had him drop in the fourth or fifth round, and I thought he was a nice, a nice D tackle. And he ain't shit but like twenty one. Yeah, he's got some. Apparently, he's been interviewing really bad. Oh, that's the only. Re- oh, I don't care about that. I don't care about no double interview, man. I don't care yeah, about- I mean, guys like us, we don't really give a shit about that, but teams really do. But for what, like? Like like CJ Stroud, they say he 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 did a poor wonder list, a where that shit called the wonder test. The His shit was test, horrible. Yeah. yeah. But CJ Stroud is gonna be the best quarterback in that NFL draft class. And it was quarterback that be that came before him that tested poor and did good in the NFL. I don't care about no down no down test. What are you doing on that football field? And why are yeah. you playing the way you playing? Why are you rushing inside and not outside? If you could tell me why, I'm okay with you. Well, the play was called for me to go inside, and, a, and the offense lineman gave me an outside push. I went inside, or 
I stayed outside because I knew they were running outside because the line the lineman gave me an outside um block. I so I stayed it. outside. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like other than that, I man, I don't care about no damn test. Uh, we the NFL not about tests. Oh, I know, but it, it matters to them. If it did if it didn't matter to them, then why even interview or do those tests? You know what I'm saying? So I mean, those tests can tell you a lot about like people's thought process, not necessarily how how high that they, they score. So I mean, I don't know. I don't work for NFL room, but after yeah, I don't get I don't get that shit though, cause we could name a lot of NFL players that did bad on them tests that was good NFL players. Mm-hmm. Like some people, some people don't take tests well. They might no. crack under pressure with circle A, B, or C, or they don't know where the fuck the circle. But so, on that football field, I can play. I'll tell you one thing that I learned from when when I uh, graduated for the Academy of Scout uh, Academy of Scouting recently. The one thing I learned about like those tests and things like that is exactly what I was saying before. Is like they just want to want to see how your thought press is, and then also, you know, a lot of those guys they opt out of it, and that doesn't look good. that doesn't look too good. But it, at least, too, but CJ Stroud did it. And he other other players bad. didn't, and uh, yeah, but he did bad. But then it was like, well, at least he did some shit, even though he was like, what's, I don't. What, what school? That, hey, what school that located in? You went? Uh, the Academy of Scouting. It's all it's all online. It's like a, oh, you it's did a, online. It's an eight week course. Yeah. So you had a you so so you had a niche for what you do, huh? Yeah. Because you play football, then. I play football, I coach football, uh, and then I, I coach quarterbacks right after I got done actually being an assistant coach what, in high school. What's the high level you coach at and what's the high the highest level you played at? Uh high school is the highest level I played at. The highest what level I play? coached at was also I played quarterback in safety. You right handed or left handed? I right-handed. used to throw yeah, I used to throw left handed yeah. and then my junior year I started throwing right handed. I'm ambidextrous, so I can write and and throw left and right handed. I can, you know what the crazy part is? I play all sports with my left hand, but I do everything else with my right hand. Though some people are like that. Like my dad was a my dad played punter for North Carolina Central. He kicks with his left foot, but he's no, think, but I he's right my, hand I, and right foot dominant. But the crazy part is though, when I punt, I punt with my right foot though. Some people are like that, bro. I don't understand that shit. <laughs> yeah, I pump I pump my right foot, but. If I'm doing a layup or shooting the football or throwing me, if I'm shooting a basketball or throwing the football, I'm all left handed. But mm-hmm. if I'm writing and stuff like that, I'm right handed. It's crazy though. Yeah, I had like this switch in my life. Like literally my sophomore year of high school, I started like I don't know. I don't know how you would feel because you're like both. You know what I'm saying? You're yeah, like kinda, all over the all over the place. But but people hate when I say I'm both. They be like, man, you not both. I said I, I am kind of both. I know when I play basketball, I I, I heard a, a player tell his coach like, I don't know what fucking position he play. He come out with his right, then he he shoot and lay with his fucking left hand. I don't know what position. He, I don't know if he left handed or right handed. Yeah, that's how I was. Yeah. I play basketball though. Like quarterback, like I played quarterback for a little bit, but I really I I, I really I really ain't learning playbook like that. And I try to do some. So any given Sunday shit, Willie Beam and shit, chain up plays and a playbook. Like, <laughs> like man, we run this Straight play, up. man. Fuck we talk about. Man, I called yeah. that one play, man. The coach was on my ass. I ain't yeah. play quarterback that season. I ain't play quarterback after that. It was over with. Yeah. The, when I call the, the play, man, you call the play, I call. I don't care what the defense is showing you. Yeah. I'm I, like, shit. I, I'm like, shit. I call the play. In the, I call the, I, I know audible in the fucking huddle. Fuck with the defense showing me. I know what the fuck I know. Yeah, some people just can't can't get it down, man. No, like, you want me to you want me to roll off to my right though, to my like. No, that no that that shit ain't gonna work. We are gonna do a little bit to the left. The bitch gonna come mm-hmm. out quicker and better to my left. Yeah, that I mean it's it's a cat and mouse game when you when you play that shit, man. The yeah. the highest the highest that I've ever coached, but I didn't really coach. I just did drills with this guy and tried to help him out. Uh, Braden Davis plays for Syracuse right now. That was, and he was playing at South Carolina at the time. He was the highest kind of caliber player that I coached. Brian Davis, Braden Davis, he plays Brain. at Syracuse right now. 
Yeah. So let me ask you this though. Cause a lot of people got mad at me on my Instagram page because I posted him on my Instagram page. Do you know about high school quarterback that went to the that went to college football or some of them? Do I do I know about quarterbacks yeah. that go from high school to college? Yeah. Or you know about some of them? Mm, I don't I pay attention more so halfway through their year when they're starting to get the big names and their stars for coming out and stuff like that, two four seven. Okay. If you said a name, yeah, I could tell you if I know him or not. So okay, let me ask you. So do you know about Dante Moore? Yeah, Dante Moore. Yep. So let me ask you this. Though, He's up there from your area, right? And went to you. Yeah, he, he went yeah, to UCLA. He's he from Detroit. So yeah. people got mad when I posted him. They said, "Man, why you post?" He a bum. I said, "Bro, he played at UCLA. They is fucking trash, and he tried first to Oregon. They said he not even gonna play. I said, "Yeah, not this year, but next year he could. He could be their quarterback one." But people were telling me Dante Moore was trash. What the fuck were they watching? No, bro. I can show you my they. They. I got. I got about three or five DM telling me why you put Dante Moore. He trash. I Dante said, Moore he, is not trash. I don't think they. The the first little glimpse I got of him, I didn't watch any of his high school tape. But when he played in that that Under Armour All American game right out of high school, he was lighting shit up. I think he had like three or four touchdowns in that game and almost three hundred yards. And he was switching with other quarterbacks. I was like, God damn, this kid is good. And then he went to UCLA. UCLA system was kind of trash. They started him first game of the season to kind of put him out there for the Wolves, which was good. Told, I told people, like, man, bro, UCLA is trash. Like, Dante fuck, Moore went to the right spot. Who the fuck is their head coach at UCLA? It was Chip Kelly at the time. Man, Chip Kelly is trash. <laughs> like, Chip Kelly is a, is a running coach. He don't care nothing about the fucking quarterback. Man, I told him, like, man, bro, y'all tripping. Dante, I said Dante Moore, nice, man. Y'all tripping. Man, he yeah. trash. He horrible. Why you post him? I said, man, y'all tripping. Yeah, the, they don't they don't know about damn Dante Moore. I'll tell you who, who I saw the other day at Nebraska, and he's going to be their freshman quarterback. Remember Dylan Rayola? Everybody was talking about him? And he was where? supposed to go to – he – I think he played in Arizona – He's from Arizona, I believe, and then he went to high school out in Georgia, and then he committed, soft committed to Georgia, and his dad is actually a coach in Nebraska, and then he transferred to Nebraska. Or he committed to a Nebraska. No, he hadn't played yet. No, I hip so. If you go watch videos of him, that kid is big as fuck already, and he's going to be a true freshman this year. I'm like, God damn, where do they feed these kids? Yeah, they, they, they be big as hell nowadays. Yeah, he big as shit right now. Walking the uh, sis fit Drake May looking downfield at Hawking. Drake May doesn't look downfield. A lot of people people like Drake May, man. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck, man. Like, are y'all watching films on Drake May or just the good highlights? Like, I don't know. They like a lot of Viking fans like Drake May. He throws downfield maybe twice a game. Let, Let. let me tell you this, man. This this is what I noticed. I, I was actually talking to my guys about this last night. So Drake May's first year looked all right. Stats wise, remember everybody's like, oh shit, he's a true freshman going going nuts right now. Got got the stats and everything. Phil Longo was their offensive coordinator at the time. And he did a lot of what Bo Nix was doing at Oregon this year. Check down, check down, get those safeties to cheat down, then we're gonna throw it deep, and everything's all good. But he had Josh Downs and Antoine Green, who nobody talks about either. Those are just two weapons there. They both got drafted to the NFL last year. Then Phil Longo left last year and went to Wisconsin. And then he became trash all of a sudden. But he's still being talked about as the number two quarterback. I'm like, how the what the fuck happened? You should still be good after your guy leaves if you got that much talent. You ain't lying. Like people say, Drake May, he he. They say he lost a lot of players the past off season. I said, who the fuck did he lose? He lost a lot of players, but then Omarion Hampton was borderline the best running back last year. Had fourteen hundred yards and twenty touchdowns. That's the dude that made him look good. <laughs> I don't know. Man. I, I don't understand, man. You can't appease people nowadays. Like, up, tri- all right, we get on you, man. I appreciate you tapping in with us, man. Yeah. yeah, I don't know, man. I'm just not high on Drake May for real. Yeah, I ain't either, brother. 
But hey, man, I just want to tap in with you real quick. I'm gonna go do some more, uh, do some more film and shit. But I uh, appreciate you, though. I appreciate you tapping in with me, man. Yeah, man. I'll talk to you later. For sure. Yeah, man. So which quarterback y'all want the Vikings to draft? Like people telling me Drake May, JJ, and I don't know, man. Do y'all want the Vikings to even trade up for a quarterback in this year NFL draft? That's the question. I don't know. I don't want them to trade up shit. I'll let Caleb Williams or Jaden Daniel fall or shit. Then you trade up. But if not, I'm straight. I'd rather stay put for real. We can get our quarterback of the future. And we get a fucking D tackle. Like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? Like, we ain't got no D tackles on this football team right now. And people want to trade up in the NFL draft. I feel them, though. But it, de- it depends on who far for me, though, man. But y'all let me know in the comment section, man, what y'all want to do in the chat. Who y'all want to get in round one? Trade up. Or stay put at 11 23 and see what happened there. Shit. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm confused, man. I'm going to get out of here, though, man. I appreciate everybody watching my live stream tonight, man. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel, man. I'm going live once a week, every week, man. Y'all got to watch my page early during the day to see when I'm going live. I go, I go live once a week, every week, for real. I'm not lying to y'all. And I pull people on. If you want to get on here and go live one night and talk your Viking talk or talk your NFL talk, you at the right fucking spot. My man Norris, my man Norris Burberry been here since since I started the live stream. That's my guy. No quarterback. We need Warriors up front on, it, on either. Yeah, I feel you, though, but we need a quarterback. You my guy, but we need a quarterback. We can get both, man. Subscribe to my channel, man. Like the video, share the video, and leave a comment. I'm going to go live again probably next Thursday, or it might be sooner, though, but I don't know. But just watch my page or hit that not- notification once I go live or upload the video, man. At the end of the day, we're going to scold Nation to win the Super Bowl, man. Like, damn. Good looking, my guy, Bear Alive. I appreciate that, man. We out of here, man. And I might drop a video tonight, man. For real. Skull Nation, win a Super Bowl. Draft the right damn quarterback, man. Shit.